Hi and hello everyone. Welcome to the Nursing Virus YouTube channel. This is me, Logunathan. Today we are going to discuss the most important question from the previous all aims questions. Most of the image related questions will see. Each video you will get completely solved 25 MCQs with the rationals. You might have the questions collections, but when you are preparing for upcoming competitive examinations, read the previous questions along with that read the related areas completely because each year the questions are getting connected from the same topic even these question collections are important for the various competitive examination and i have a kind request from the audience who are watching my video kindly do the subscription and watch the video because most of the videos were watching without subscription that is around 85 point four percentage of the audience were watching the video without doing the subscription so you are missing my videos updates when you are doing the subscription don't forget to click the bell icon too so you will get all the my video notification discussion question number one dark purplish discoloration and congestion of vulva and vaginal mucous membrane is termed as hegar sign chatwick sign Goodell sign, Osiander sign. Here the correct answer is Chatwick sign. So the Chatwick sign, when that woman were getting congestion of pelvis, which is caused the bluish or dark purplish discoloration of the vagina and as well the cervix area. Any one of the part can get the discoloration. Either the vagina or the cervix can get the bluish or the dark purplish discoloration due to the congestion. The other options also you should know because each year at least they are asking from any of one sign from this area. So the Hagar sign that is a compressibility of isthmus on bimanual examination. And for the OC under sign so that when you are doing the assessment the pulsation in the lateral vaginal orifices can be felt. And the Goodell sign that is a completely cyanosis and softening of the cervix of the woman. Second one. The carpal tunnel syndrome is caused by the compression of which nerve? The median nerve, the radial nerve, the ulnar nerve, the femoral nerve. So the correct answer is median nerve. First we should know what is meant by carpal tunnel syndrome. So it is the common condition that causes the pain or a numbness or a tinkling in the hand and as well in the arm. So this condition will used to occur when one of the major nerve to the hand, the median nerve is squeezed or compressed as it travels through the wrist area. Third one, which of the following is best illustrate delusion of reference? My food is being poisoned. The TV reporter is talking about me. I am the president of the country. The government is trying to steal my invention. So the correct answer is the TV reporter is talking about me. So where the person getting repeated uh, thought about being referred by someone. So the my food is being poisoned. That is the deletion of persecution. And I am the president of the country is when the person is describing that is deletion of grandiosity. Fourth question, tonometry is the method of measuring the pressure inside the lungs pressure inside the ear, intraocular pressure and blood pressure. So the correct answer is, so the tonometry will be used to measure the intraocular pressure. So on the image you can see that instrument, the tonometry. The other options that is that for measuring that pressure inside the lungs, the spirometer can be used. That is also you can see in the picture. And for measuring pressure inside the ear, the tymponometry can be used and for measuring the blood pressure the spigma manometer will be used that image also you can see in the slide fifth one before giving blood transfusion a nurse must note the date time of collection and must be aware about that packed rbc's can be stored up to how many days 25 days 42 days 45 days and 55 days so the correct option is 42 days on the table you can see the various blood component and the temperature for the storage and the shelf life for that rbc one to six 
celsius you can store up to 42 days according to eric erickson eighth stage of development that is initiative versus guilt takes place at 20 to 25 years 10 to 15 years 13 to 19 years and 3 to 5 years so the correct option is 3 to 5 years so here you can see on the stage of 3 that initiative versus guilt will used to happen so the child will used to initiate various activity by himself and the child will used to feel guilt for their mistake the remaining stages also you try to recall that is much important one the Erickson stage otherwise known as psychosocial development theory seventh one which of the following test need to be performed before radial artery cannulation to evaluate the radial and ulnar arterial patency that is coops test allen's test capillary refill test and burgers test so the correct option is allen's test so when you'll perform the allen's test mean to check the patency of the radial artery or uh, collecting any blood samples that is mainly for the abg sample first the examination can be performed like this way that is the radial artery and ulnar artery will be pressed by that pump of nurse and will ask the person to clench the hands many times and will take the thumb from the radial artery alone and you can see the blood circulation on the palm of the hand so when you are seeing this kind of good patency of blood circulation so the person having the good radial and ulnar artery patency so you can collect the blood sample from the arterial area here the capillary refill test when it can be performed mean so on the nail beds it is used to monitor the dehydration and that amount of blood flow to the tissue and burger test will be performed to assess the adequacy of the arterial supply to the eighth one a patient is to receive 1000 ml of iv fluid in 6 hours the drop factor is 15 drops per ml at approximately how many drops per minute should flow rate be set 42 drops per minute 21 drops per minute 55 drops per minute and 33 drops per minute so here the correct answer is 42 drops per minute how we need to calculate mean here the formula simple one the calculating the fluid rate we should know the total volume of fluid and the drop factor and the total time of infusion with this simple if you are knowing this information you can calculate the drop rate so the total volume of fluid here 1000 ml and the drop factor is 15 and the total time of infusion is 6 hours here we need to convert into the minutes so we are multiplying with the 60 minutes so you can simplify so after simplification we'll get the answer 41.66 so 42 drops in the round figure so the correct answer is 42 drops per minute instead of the drop factor as 50 drops per ml if they are mentioning as only the micro trip set and macro trip set we need to calculate that micro trip set 60 drops per ml and for a macro trip set 15 drops per ml and that way you can calculate the flow rate the ninth one vitamin b1 is also known as pyridoxine thiamine riboflavin and niacin so the correct answer is thiamine that is known as b1 the other vitamins the other names that is a pyridoxine b6 riboflavin b2 and niacin b3 and tenth one which of the following drug is the proton pump inhibitor that is a ranitidine, famotidine, and pantoprazole and sucroflate. So here the correct answer is pantoprazole. The main action is a profound and the prolonged reduction of the stomach acid production. The other drug, the ranitidine and famotidine, will come under the group of histamines H2 receptor antagonist. Eleventh one, Pell's palsy is the disorder of the dash cranial nerve third cranial nerve seventh one ninth cranial nerve and fifth cranial nerve so here the correct answer is seventh cranial nerve that is the facial one 
So the Bell's palsy is mainly characterized by the muscle weakness that cause the one half of the face to drop. So on the image you can see the one side of the face will used guest drop. Twelfth one, while doing the colostomy irrigation, the height of the irrigation bag should be around 18 inches, 24 inches, 12 inches and 36 inches. So the correct answer is 18 inches. How we need to hold main? That holding of irrigation bag when the patient is either in the sitting in the toilet or in the chair next to the toilet for the irrigation. So that the bottom of the bag is at your shoulder level we need to keep. That is a 18 inches above the stoma area. That is an approximate measurement. 13. Which one of the following procedure is used to correct the autosclerosis? Myringoblasty. Myringotomy, mastoidectomy, stapidectomy. So the correct answer is stapidectomy. So the first one, the autosclerosis is nothing, an abnormal growth of the bone in the middle ear. That is in the area of eardrum and malus, incus and stapus. So where those kind of bones were present, that is considered as the middle ear. In this area, the abnormal growth of the bone can be seen. So when the abnormal growth of the bone in the middle ear when it is happening, the person will used to get the conductive hair loss. For treating that hearing loss, we'll used to do the stapidectomy. The other surgeries, that is a myringoblasty to repair the perforation in the eardrum. And myringotomy, the tiny incision is created in the tympanic membrane. And mastoidectomy for removal of diseased mastoid air cells can be performed. 14. Using the rule of 9, estimate that burn size in the adult having burns injury to the chest and the stomach is 18% 27% 36% and 9% So here the correct one is 18% On the image you can see the anterior view and posterior view of the adult. So the every part of the body can be considered as the 9 percentage with that number 9. So here they given the chest and as well that stomach. So you can see the chest area for the anterior side 9 percentage and for that stomach 9 percentage. So totally if you are calculating that is 18 percentage of burns area. Suppose if they are mentioning the other area in the similar way you can calculate the percentage 15 which among the following is the colloid solution 0.9 percentage of normal saline dextron 0.45 percentage of normal saline and 25 percentage of dextrose so here that dextron alone can be considered as the colloid solution so the remaining three solutions that is 0.9 percentage normal saline and 0.45 normal saline and 25 percentage of dextrose those everything will be considered as the crystalloid solution and 16 lactated ringer solution is contraindicated in fluid lost as bile or diarrhea hypovolemia lactic acidosis and burns so the correct answer is lactic acidosis. The reason is the lactate ringer administration is contraindicated in severe metabolic acidosis or alkalosis and is severe liver disease or anaxia states which affect the lactate metabolism. So we won't administer during these periods. 17. The antidote of warfarin is Protamine sulfate, vitamin K, glucagon, acetyl cysteine. So the, an the correct answer is vitamin K. The antidote of warfarin is vitamin K. For the other uh, things, for the heparin, protamine sulfate, and for the insulin, glucagon, and for the acetaminophen, the acetyl cysteine can be administered. 18. All of the following are qualitative research method except the correlation, ethnography, phenomenology and ethnography. So these are all considered as the research methods. So 
so the correlation is the other method that is under the quantitative method it will come so here are the types of qualitative research design i have listed there's a historical research phenomenological method ethnography grounded theory secondary analysis meta analysis and epidemiological research or it's otherwise known as descriptive form study the 19th one a person suffering from dash a severe anxiety disorder is able to speak freely with the certain people only and is not able to speak with others especially with the certain social groups such as classmates at the school the options are mutism aphasia selective mutism and epilepsy so the correct answer is selective mutism why mean here the person were speaking with some persons and not speaking with only few list of persons suppose if the person were not at all speaking with anyone that is coming under either mutism or aphasia so here the person were speaking with the selected persons and not speaking with the uh, social group or the classmate person so so that is a kind of an selective mutism 20 which of the following is not the future of help syndrome raised liver enzyme eosinophilia thrombocytopenia and hemolytic anemia so here the correct answer is eosinophilia that is not at all related with the help syndrome here you can see the mnemonic for the help that is that hemolysis elevated liver enzyme and low platelet count for the hemolysis the hemolytic anemia can happen an elevated liver enzyme and the low platelet count due to that that thrombocytopenia can happen so this is that simple mnemonic for remembering this help syndrome 21 which of the following is the ideal age for the closure of the anterior fontanel of the child 18 to 24 months and 6 to 8 months and 6 to 8 weeks and 18 to 24 weeks so the correct answer is 18 to 24 months so here don't make confusion between the months and weeks so here the anterior fontanels you can see so that connecting part of the fontanel bone and the parietal bone midway you can see the anterior fontanel for that child below the age of 2 years or 1 and 1/2 year if you are palpating you can see 22 a patient who is abuses alcohol and cocaine tells a nurse he only use substance because of his stressful marriage and difficult job which defense mechanism is this patient is using that is projection displacement sublimation and rationalization so here the correct answer is rationalization because the person was saying some rational for his own mistake so that is called as rational so each and every year compulsory they were asking one question from the defense mechanism area so don't miss this area 23 which of the following hormones is not secreted from the anterior pituitary adrenocorticotropin prolactin human growth hormone and oxytocin here the correct answer is oxytocin so the oxytocin normally will be secreted by the hypothalamus on the image you can see the various gland and the various hormone secreted by those glands so this is a highly important area 24 which one of the following is the dna virus hepatitis a hepatitis b hepatitis c hepatitis d so the correct option is hepatitis b so this is the only one type of hepatitis which having the dna virus so the remaining all type of hepatitis will come under the rna virus so in the table you can see the various other information for related with the hepatitis disorder and 25 inadequate intake by the pregnant woman of the which vitamin can cause the neural tube defect niacin thiamine folic acid and riboflavin so the correct answer is folic acid so the taking folic acid in the month prior to the being pregnant and the first 3 months of pregnancy will reduce the risk of neural tube defect for the child i hope this video become much helpful for the upcoming competitive examination 
hope you can expect more videos for daily thank you for watching this video if the video is informative subscribe my channel and like and share the video you can write your comments too